Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and this request has just come in for, it's a random song, I've never heard it before. It's called Corduroy Dreams by Rex Orange County, I believe. Um, so I had to listen to it and it's a really nice song to play, it's a bit jazzy, so I like it. So I worked it out and today I'm going to teach you how to play it. If you've got any requests, put them in the comments section down below. Um, I do try and read as much as I can of the comments and I'll try and do as many videos for you guys as possible. So yeah, put a comment in the uh, comments. If you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, that would be amazing, really help support it. Um, and also give me a like, give me the thumbs up as well. Okay, let's get down to it. So there's only really two parts to the song. You've got a verse part and a chorus, but there's lots of little variations that go on through that. Um, so I'm going to teach you the verse there's a couple of little variations that we need to do in that and then the chorus part as well. The second chorus is slightly different but it's basically the same thing but it just adds on an extra bit. Okay, so the main part, slowly, sounds like this. So for that, it's in the intro and the verse. It starts with an E major 7 chord, which is your first finger, A7, second finger on G8, third finger D9 and little finger on B9 and instead of playing it all at the same time we're going to play the thumb you could do it with a plectrum but I'm using a thumb and fingers so thumb plays the A7 and then fingers play the, the rest of those strings so you got then you're going to play the open A and then we're going to go to an F diminished 7 chord which is your second finger on A8 First finger on G7, third finger D9, little finger on B9. So that's an F diminished seventh. Quite a common thing to go from like the one chord, the E major, going up to a, a sort of two diminished seventh. It often would go to a minor seven, but don't worry. Digressing. So we've got this uh, F sharp, sorry, F diminished seven chord. We play the A string. And then we play the chords. So that first bar, ignoring the last eight in the first bar, we've got. And then you're gonna play that eight again and slide up a fret. Make sure you're using your second finger so then we can get this inversion of a B7. It's actually B7 over F sharp, but I've written it as an F7, uh, sorry, B7. So your second finger hits the nine. So you've done the slide from the eight. Then you put your third finger on D9, first finger G8, little finger on B10, and we've got this B7 chord, and then play open A, and then it's a B7 flat 13 chord, which is your first finger E7, second finger on D7, third finger G8, little finger B8. Okay, so let's try and put the whole line together slowly, it goes. And literally it just keeps repeating that. Um, round. On the fourth time, um, it's going into the, so the fourth time of the intro going into the verse, on the last chord, um, it goes, uh, or the last time around it goes. Um, so the only change there is this little B13 chord, which actually goes from a, uh, the flat 13 into a 13, it slides in. Uh, so you've got your first finger on E7, second finger D7. Uh, third finger on G8 and little finger is going to go from uh, B8 to B9 so you see that on that B13 chord so the fourth time round of the verse goes okay um, and then it just keeps going around the main riff round and then uh, on one part of the verse, he's, he's stabbing the chords. So it's doing the same chords, but just stabbing them like this. So it's the same chords, but you're just playing them as a whole chord rather than doing the 
adding the extra bit. So that line goes, so it's where he's saying, sit down beside me, and the rest of the lyrics. Uh, so it goes. Okay, and then it goes back to the. Uh, sometimes he just hits that chord straight as well. The last chord of the um, two bars. Uh, hopefully this is making sense. Uh, and then we go to the chorus, which I've written into three lines. So the first line of the chorus goes. So for that, we've got E major seven. We've already done that. And then it keeps that on for the whole of the bar and two beats of the next bar. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two. Then it's going to hit it again, then down a fret, and then down another fret and play. So that's. Uh, so let's try and play those. So it's all the same shape, you're just moving it down. The first uh, one, two, three, four bars of that line go. One, two, three. And then it goes to an A major 7 chord. First finger E5, second finger B5, third finger on D6, little finger on G6. And it's going to go. So it does a little slide in from a fret below going into the next bar. So you've got. So let's try the whole of that line nice and slowly. Here it comes. to the next line sounds like this uh, this has got a weird feeling um, it almost feels like there's a bar of five but basically it just kind of changes chord in a weird place on bar 15 but anyway so we've got uh, C major 7 so it's the same shape that we had for the D major 7 and the E major 7 so C major 7 and then so it's all playing the, the chords. Uh, so you play all the chord at the same time, then the A string, then the rest of the chord, the A string, and then D, G, B. And then we're gonna hit the chord again, and then go to C sharp major seven, which is upper fret. And then it goes to D major seven. This is where it feels weird. And then it goes to E major seven. And then E major seven again. D major, or D sharp major seven to finish the line off. Let me just play you that whole line uh, nice and slowly so you get an idea. It's all the same shape, you're just moving it up and down. So we've got. So hopefully that makes sense. Same shape, just moving it up and down. It's a little bit confusing on the timing. And then the last line goes like this. So if we've got we've got the uh, D major seven. So dun, 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 ga, and then you can into the next bar, bar eighteen. You just play the whole chord. Back to E major seven on bar nineteen. E major seven again. D sharp major seven and D major seven. Hard to say. Uh, and then this last B thirteen. Split it up. I'll pitch it in it going. Dun, 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 dun. And then just finishes with a B. Seven, and then that'll jump um, back to the verse of the song. A little point in uh, the second chorus when it goes round, bars nineteen and twenty. When it's doing, then it does it again. So nineteen twenty repeats those round a few times, and then goes on to the B thirteen chord. Well, hopefully that's made sense for you guys. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, it's Andy Hillier. If you could give me a like on the video and put your request in on, in the comment section. Any songs you want to learn, put them in the comment section. Uh, also, let me know where in the world you're from, if you've enjoyed it. Give me some feedback. 
Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.